Hey, what's up guys? Tonton here and welcome back to my channel. So today, let's have a look at the new version. The new studio version of the Transformer Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Size Wipe. And this is the Revenge of the Fallen versions, not the Dark of the Moon versions. Because this car has a roof instead of the roofless version we got back in the days. So here we go. So here we have Size Wipe and he's still the same figure as when I first got him. But when I put him next to the Dark of the Moon Size Wipe that we got, this is a di really different figure. Mostly will be for the paint. So actually I'm gonna bring in the Size Wipe from Dark of the Moon now for you to see the difference. So as you can see, the most notable difference is that the Size Wipe from Dark of the Moon has a really torn silver and grey plastic kind of vibe. But where the Revenge of the Fallen version is much darker and the silver paint is are used as like highlight detail for the figures. And absolutely like that, it makes the figure look taller and somehow better looking. So that is enough for the overall. Now let's get to his details so I can show you what is the real difference over here. So first off, let's begin with the face. The thing that really pleased me about this size white will be the separation of the colors. We've got dark gray and then silver paint and that just makes the eyes popped out really really nice. But if you look at the Dark of the Moon versions, all you got is like a gray plastic that looks really dull and some light piping and barely any details on it. So absolutely that I enjoy the Revenge of the Fallen face better than the face of the Dark of the Moon versions. And also for the torso section, I mean like the sculpt are the same, but like I said again, all the details. For the Dark of the Moon versions, you got some grey highlighting the vent on the stomach and on the abs, but for the Revenge of the Fallen, that is mostly gunmetal grey and only some lining over there. And personally, I would wish to see this both of this aspect combined. I mean, that could look better because technically none of these two really satisfy me in the terms of detail leveling. So I would wish that somehow they could combine and improve, but like that, that should be it because like unless we got a masterpiece size wide on NPM scale, like, this is the best we can have as a studio because like no way this guy get a 2.0 or something. So moving size to the arms and like I said again the same arms but only with different details. So I absolutely amazed with the way that they use only the last bit of silver onto the forearms because that just make him look really strong especially with his with the wheels on the sides of his arms over there that just look brilliant. And that being said it's not like I dislike Jack of the Moon size wipe to me he's still a great figure. But I enjoy this version of size wipe better because of all the paint that we got. Moving up to the backpacks and this is the result of having a roof. And now I can see that why they chose to go with the Dark of the Moon versions instead of the Revenge of the Fallen. That is because of the roof. You see like with the Dark of the Moon versions, they are able to create a cleaner backpack. Unlike this Revenge of the Fallen versions, they still have that huge backpack. So I'm now moving down to the legs and this is essentially the same problem that I got with the arms. To me, the highlight versions of the Revenge of the Fallen is much better than the overall silvery silhouette of the Dark of the Moon versions. So yeah, that concludes about the details because mostly this is essentially the same figures that we got before, only with a new roof piece and a different paint job. And that should be it. And now let's talk about accessories. So for the accessories, this guy got the same set as the Dark of the Moon size wipe. So here, here there is his blade. So as you see, this is essentially two piece of two different colored plastic. I'm gonna flip them. So this one is dark metal gray, and this one is like light gray. And if you flip them around, they both are painted. But then the paint of the new version is I don't know look more metallic than the old one. So that is the two blades. So you still get two blades for the set. And there's the gun. So the gun of the Dark of the Moon versions has some silver lining and some black. But on the Revenge of the Fallen, he doesn't get any. So that's a shame. Because like, why, if you have done a paint upgrade, why not continue? Or just at least keep something the same, but why going back? So you can store his weapon, but a little bit different. So the gun is actually gonna open the backpack and plug it in like this. On both sides. And they hold in, I must say that they hold in better than the old versions when you just plug them down here. So the, for the blades, you can just plug it onto his arms or just stuck it onto his thighs. And for some size comparison, I'm gonna keep this short because this is the same figures. So I'm gonna just bring in Ratchet and Prime. And as you can see, this is the size here. 
Like I said, the Studio series has always been a brilliant line about scaling and I absolutely enjoy this. And so now, without further ado, let's get to articulation. So for the articulation, we give the head, he can look up and down and do a full rotation. His arm can swing out like that and do a rotation, but sometimes this got blocked by the chest piece. You got a biceps swivel, a band of the knee elbow, and the same old transformer hand, which is like that. You got a waist swivel. It kind of limited because of all the backpack going on. So this is a kick to the front and kick to the back. Again, limited because of the backpack. This is a spread. You got a thigh swivel. This is the knee band. And I enjoy this piston detail. Really enjoy this piston detail here. And this is a kind of alien leg. So yeah. And you got some moving toe. I mean like essentially this is the same toy that we used to got only with different paint job. So I still I'm I still satisfied with him because I enjoyed the studio series size wide. So now let's get him transformed and see what he is look like in the Arthur mode. So finishing transforming size wipe and here we have him, a beautiful covert stingray just like in the movie of 2009 and I must say that I absolutely enjoyed this beautiful bright silver paint although it will be there will be a problem for problems for which I'm gonna bring in my dark of the moon size wipe you see this is a problem I told you that after a while the, all the silver paint will get faded away and I displayed this guy on my shelf with glass window so it still happened because of the ionizing the air shit or some chemical, I don't know. But it happens and I don't know any way to fix this problem. So if you do, tell me in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will have to repaint this guy once in a while. But enough of Dark of the Moon size Y for now. So this is the beautiful Corbett Stingray like we have seen in the movies. And there's really nothing too much to say about this transformation because this is the same figures as for the... Except for the hood. And on top of the hood, he went a lot of that beautiful black clear plastic and some silver paint on it as well different from the topless version of size white in Dark of the Moon and if you flip him around essentially this is still the same toy and because of all the difference that I, I already talked about all the difference in the robot mode so I mean like this is a decent enough outfit mode and for the size, this is the same size as the Dark of the Moon versions of size wipe. So yeah, this is essentially the same. I have predicted this before and it is just as I have predicted. So that should be it for today. Tell me what is your opinion about this figure in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, press that subscribe button and ring the bell for upcoming videos. Also follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description. So see you next time. Ton ton out.